This is Twit. Uh, Android Wear is Google's version of Android for wearable computers that would, you know, go from every everything from uh, glasses to a jacket to a watch. But all the announcements today focused a lot on smartwatches. Um, so a lot of this, a lot of what Android Wear looks like is kind of what we expected. Um, we've got some videos of the interface, which looks a lot like the Google Now card interface. Uh, we're seeing basically a watch that connects to your Android device, your phone, and gives you contextual notifications, voice search a la Google Now, uh, fitness and health integration with a wide range of sensors, quote unquote, multi-screen case capabilities, which means you can cast your TV, manage music playlists, etc. Notifications that sync between the device and the watch. So any action on the phone or watch dismisses on the other. Uh, notifications that make a sound or vibrate on your phone will vibrate on the Wear device, that being the smartwatch. Um, Google released the Android Wear SDK. That's the software development kit for developers who want to make their apps Android Wear compatible. Um, that's available today, and it's in a preview. So if you're a developer, you have to opt in and say, hey, I want to get a hold of this, of this preview. And what you get is you get a download um, to a package that you install with your Android IDE or integrated development environment, and then lets you basically run a simulator or an emulator, which is a software rendition of what the watch in this case would look like and how your app will integrate and interact with that watch. Uh, so as you can see, Brian's got the video up now. You can see you getting, you know, hangout notifications, the really, really attractive interface that looks very Google Now-ish, those like flat white cards um, with the ability to kind of flip up through the cards and then slide over to the right to go kind of deeper and perform actions on those cards. Very similar to what we see on Google Glass uh, with voice, voice entry. So if you get a text message, you can say reply reply with your voice, um, you get notifications of, you know, locations nearby, how many calories you've burned, whether or not you should check in for your flight and show you the barcode. Really, really, really cool stuff here. Um, I'm like, I'm super excited. I, I'm like, cannot wait to adapt my app to, uh, to, to Android Wear. And so no releases, I mean, no hardware releases. There's nothing actually running this right now that's out, out, you know, in the wild. But the reason why Google releases the SDK first is so that developers can get their apps up to speed. So when it does get released, we'll we'll have lots of cool cool stuff that we can do with our Android Wear watch. I, I wish there was a spy cam watching uh, and showing Ron's reaction this whole time as you've been talking, Gina, because he's pretty much I can't flipping his lid I can't as he watches this video. Myself. This is like so cool. <laughs> Seriously, like this, it like. Is it is like it's when the I, watch we wanted. I, I, this this is this might rival the Google Glass reaction because when I was watching those videos, <laughs> I'm not sure that's a tall order. Right? Well, no, <laughs> when I was, but this is but this is what I've been waiting yeah, for. This yeah. is what I wanted. Like you know, I've been I've been talking about a smartwatch for how many months now, and I've been I'm like, should I get a Pebble or you know all this sort of stuff? I am so glad I'm waiting because if this is what we're gonna get, this is exactly what I want. It's a it's a nice. Um, interface. It's it's integrating Google now, so it's something that you're comfortable with using photos and all that sort of stuff to get a nice kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, the, and what got me, and I don't know who those developers are in that video. The guy with the glasses and the guy with the hoodie. I don't know who they are, but they're my new favorite rock star developers because okay. they are my idols. Because they were talking contextual. That's the thing. Yeah. No bells and whistles. That's it does great. it does what it needs to do. It, you know, it can it it works with your phone. You can see someone calling you. You can send a quick text message. You can see when your next meeting is. Like this this that these examples with the round phone. Which by the way, I wonder in the video if this is actually the 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 watch or if this is some uh, post production. But that's a, that's another thing. Oh, like yeah, the yeah, screen the, that the you're demo, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I was I'm like, guessing that's going on there. Yeah. Like I saw some yeah. jaggies around the photo. I'm like, that, that was. Late. I, I think the screens are simulated, but that yeah. is what the uh, the Moto 360 watch actually does look like. And they're going to have a yeah. hangout tomorrow to actually show this mm -hmm. off and talk about it. And I, I can't get it soon enough. Like I want it. And what, what I think, and then yeah. as I was driving up here, I was thinking about it. And this is genius on Google's part because, you know, a lot, because I posted on Google Plus to how excited I was about this and, and that sort of thing. And people were asking in the comments, they're asking some great questions like, what is the battery life going to be? And how is it going to work? Whatever. And Google, while they're developing the platform, you know, and they're working with, you know, hardware manufacturers, but they're, they're like, let the hardware manufacturers figure that out. Let LG, mm -hmm. let Moto, mm -hmm. let whomever going to figure out to build like the 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 right the right device that will utilize this. But they're just worried about the user interface, and they're wor they're focusing on the SDK and focusing on all this stuff. And it is gorgeous. And I can't like sign me up now. Like get me in the alpha test. 
So it's yeah. really it's really cool that that consumer video that they put out. There's a few different examples of ways that the people use it. The two that struck me is there. There's a couple of people on a, on bikes and they're riding up um, to a garage and one says to the phone like. Okay, Google, like op open the door and the door opens, which I was yeah. like, okay, that's interesting. The other thing was we were, there were two girls, women like dancing and the watch detected that they were dancing, listened to the song that was on and told them what song it was that they, what, that made them dance, which made me go, okay, like any software that makes people dance a little bit more. That's that's good software right there. So <laughs> it's it's so cool and like and the fact that it's got so it's it's got a microphone so you can speak into it and you can you can send text messages or you can talk to it or all that stuff. So no camera like the, the, you right. know because you don't need a camera on your on your. I'm not gonna go like this to take a picture of me and Jason. You know like it's not gonna it's not gonna it, it's it's just focused on the contextual use that this second screen can be working with your phone yeah. or your desktop or whatever it is in the whole Google kind of um, infrastructure. It's fantastic. Like in this scenario, like look at this. this guy on the bus he's holding a cake he's wanted to take his phone out to go tell stephanie whether he's close or not i mean, I mean he's, he's holding a cake Come he's on. holding a cake right he doesn't <laughs> want to dig into his pocket to get it like oh this is great <laughs> kevin you wrote about this uh i i think we all know your answer but uh how do you feel how do you feel about this I don't think anybody's more excited than Ron, personally. But, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, 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 I'm, no, that's okay. Yeah. No, you should be excited, and so should consumers. I'll tell you what. You know, Back in August of last year, I wrote a post saying, why I want Google now on my wrist. Context is king. Yes. And yep. this is it. This is what it delivers. You know, Google Glass is one thing because it delivers the same thing, but in kind of an unwieldy fashion that people aren't used to. But people are used to watches. They've been wearing watches for 100 years. Um, this ties everything together between Android and even Chrome to some degree with Google Now. So Google's doing a smart thing on the software side, putting their services in Google Now into play that ties everything together. I mean, I'm thrilled to death. This is exactly what I want. I, I actually don't wear a smartwatch right now. Um, there's a couple great options out there, but this is what I've wanted. I always said, whoever brings me native Google Now on my wrist is going to get my money first. Apparently yep. that's Google. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. But, no, Kevin, Kevin, I'm right there with yeah. you. Like, just like, like the, the whole funny thing is that like, all, they're seeing like the photos, like meeting with so and so and so. Like, I will go through and update my contacts and I was make it like perfect. That, that, I'm like, happy that you said that because I was like, you know, this really hinges around the fact that those images that it's importing automatically, yeah. which sometimes come from Google Plus, and even when they come from Google Plus, still don't look that great or yeah. highly pixelated and everything like that. Like, if half the images you get that make it quote unquote beautiful are all pixelated and ugly or empty, right. they will. Uh, no, gonna, but I will. Yeah, I will. I'd like to fix. That. Similar when Android first came out, when they first started supporting those photos, and I went through and I added photos yeah. and I did all that, and I haven't since because I've been so busy. But the day I get this watch, my God, that is going to be the most beautiful thing because it yeah. looks, you know, and like to see the like the album art come up or all this, like it's just integrating all those things that the data is out there. It is it is there for the taking. Although I do wonder what's powering it. How is it getting that data? Is it going <laughs> to pair with the phone? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so this yeah. is my one bit of disappointment about this, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, this is <laughs> pairing with the phone over Bluetooth, right? Right. Which kind of sucks, right? I mean, I mean, with, with Glass, it would, you know, the, the My Glass app would run down my phone's battery. If you leave your phone in the house and go back to the backyard, you lose the connection. Like, you're still kind of carrying two devices. You have, the, you know, the watch is connected to your phone, it's connected to the data. I mean, I I feel like I'm being hard on Google because this really is beautiful and I will absolutely buy one. Uh, but I, I sort of had this kind of wish that the watch would kind of work on its own or not have yeah. to be sucking on my you know phone's battery but, you and, know, and data plan but then you run into the, the the problem the main problem in that is always the battery right so yep. if, if right. you if it's not dependent on your phone is it is it more battery uh, efficient for it to be syncing to your phone via Bluetooth or is it more battery efficient for it to be doing all of the data and you know all of that stuff right. based on an antenna that's built inside the watch which suddenly makes the watch larger because it's got to fit all those hardware components yep. and a bigger battery yep. in order to do all this stuff like there, there has right. to be a, a give and take somewhere in order to get the device that does the things you want. If it's tied to your phone that you always have in your pocket, then maybe that's a good uh, kind of uh, consolation. There's a, there's, a whole right. other, there's a whole other aspect, though. Um, aside from the power, do you really want a SIM card and a data plan yeah, for your right. watch? Yep. Yeah. Right? Well, right. See, yeah, that, that's the trick. I mean, Motorola actually had a nice smartwatch. The, one of the, the only smartwatches that I actually bought myself was the Motorola Moto Active about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And Google had that under its wing. And I, I guess that went to Lenovo with the sale. I'm not really sure. But I love that thing because it had everything in it except 
for mobile broadband. It had GPS, it had Wi-Fi, it had Bluetooth. I could go for a run, it would health, you know, do health tracking and it would automatically sync when it saw my Wi-Fi network. I didn't have to worry about using my phone. It was a standalone device for the most part. But people don't want more data plans and, and whatnot. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I kind of totally see agree. why Google didn't do that. Yep. No, agreed, yeah. agreed. You know, and, and, but so I guess, I mean, you got to trust them to, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to go negative on this, but you got to trust that they vetted Bluetooth and they've got it working in a way that will be smoothly or whatever, because, right. you know, if the battery from, only lasts six hours, it's a, it's a no go. No you know way. what I mean? Yeah, like that's a good battery, question as to what is it, the time. It does all these amazing yeah. things, but if the battery lasts, you know, half your day or even three quarter of your day with a watch, you want a battery to last no, at it's, a very, very minimum morning to night. But people actually expect watches to last even longer than that. They no, expect yeah, yeah, yeah. two, three, four days out of these things. I, I, would I wonder say, if it's going to get there. I would say the minimum for me would be 24 hours. It would have to yeah. be yeah, able to, can, I, can I get up, wear, get through the day, come home, plug a right. float on a charger when I go to sleep. If I if I can do that, then I'm a happy clam. You know, like sure. give me two days, give me three days, bonus as far as I'm concerned. If it's less than 24 hours, then there's an there's an issue. Yeah, totally. and I wonder if there's some sort of power mode or whatever where it just becomes a dumb a dumb clock. You know, yeah, I don't you know. know. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> but, um, a good question. Just be a watch. But it's, this is a great start. I mean, if this is what they're what they've cooked up, then it's a great. And I and I can't wait. You know, to see what the uh, what the hardware.